everybody, we're getting ready to do lesson 8.3 part 2 of pre-algebra math today. And 8.3 part 2 is about using intercepts. You got 12 points here on your class worksheet, which you should have out in front of you. And you have zero points here on your notebook. Nothing goes in your notebook. So we'll go right into 8.3 part 2. And we'll go into example three, writing and graphing an equation. And this is about uh, canoeing along a 12 mile stretch of river. You travel four miles per hour when paddling and two miles per hour when drifting. Write and graph an equation describing your possible paddling and drifting times for the trip give three possible combinations of paddling and drifting times. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to write an equation, let x be the paddling time, and let y be the drifting time, both in hours. First, write a verbal model. So we have paddling distance and we have drifting distance. We have these two uh, kinds of distances here. And then paddling rate, which times, so, so our paddling rate here is uh, what? You travel four miles per hour. So we have a paddling rate times paddling time. And then plus we have drifting rate. So what's our drifting rate? Paddling two miles per hour, pad, when paddling and two miles per hour when drifting. So we have four miles per hour when paddling and then we have two miles per hour when drifting times drifting time and that will equal total distance so we have a 12 mile distance here so we have paddling rate and we have drifting rate so we got that broke down here a little bit so then use a verb model to write the equation so we have 4x plus 2y equals 12 so we have paddling rate and drifting rate right so when we have that too, the graph the equation find and use the intercepts. So find x intercepts, 4x plus 2y equals 12. So we have 4x plus 2 times 0. We're going to find our uh, x intercept here. By when y equals 0, we're going to find our x intercept. And then our 4x equals 12, then x equals 3. So right here is our x intercept. So here is our x intercept on this graph there. So we know, we know that. We can do that. So we have our x intercept there. And then to find our y intercept, we're, we're going to make x equals 0. So 4 times 0 plus 2y equals 12. So 2y equals 12, and then our y-intercept is going to equal 6. So here's what your graph is going to look like here. So our y equals, uh, when x equals 0, y equals 6, and then when y equals 0, x equals 3. So here is our graph of this total tr canoe trip here is what it is. 4x plus 2y equals 12. So when we have that... The three points on the graph are 0, 6, so here's 0, 6, 2, 2, so 2, 2 would be right there, and then 3, 0. When x, uh, when x equals 3, y equals 0 is there. 2, 2 would be right there, by the way. So, uh, so you can either not paddle at all and drift for 6 hours, so we, we can just drift for 6 hours to do the trip. Or paddle for two hours and drift for two hours, or paddle for three hours and not drift at all. So th there's different kinds of combinations here to go our 12 mile distance. And this uh, graph here uh, models our total trip for that. So knowing that, let's go into where I got to practice here at the start of a trip. You fill up your car's fuel tank with gas. After you drive for X hours, the amount Y in gallons of gas remaining is given by the equation Y equals 18 minus 2X. After how many hours of driving do you have only one quarter of a tank of gas left? So 
that's our guided practice. And then students, this is yours down here. Find the x-intercept and y-intercept of the given equations graph from up here. And then use the intercepts to graph the equation. So on this guided practice, <clears throat> we're going, we have grids here. And to do this transportation issue up here, <clears throat> We're going to go uh, 1 quarter of 18 equals 1 fourth times 18 over 1. We call uh, uh, 1 uh, times 18 over 4, which comes out to 4.5. So y will equal 18 minus 2x. And then 4.5 here is our y. 4.5 will equal 18 minus 2x. And then we solve for x. And we get x equals 6 and 3 fourths. So after 6 and 3 fourths hours of driving, one quarter of a tank of gas is left. So that's how we arrive here for a quarter of a tank of gas left is after 6 and 3 fourths hours of driving. And that is our 8.3 part 2 pre-algebra math lesson part 2. And if you have any questions or you need a worksheet, uh, email me at animated PowerPoint math video at AOL.com. Thank you very much.